Hello everyone, my name is John Doe, right here, of course, in Tokyo, Japan. Now, today, for this video, we're going to bring up something that has gone in and out off of um, people's consciousness, and it runs through the news feeds from time to time, but recently it came back. It's the issue of the birth rate in Japan. Now, if you're not aware of this, here in Japan, we have a serious population problem. Now, Japan's population has been extremely decreasing for at least the past decade, and it's projected to uh, go down a further one-third by 2060. Now, that's a very serious problem here in Japan, uh, considering that it is, this is an island nation, and it also was a homogeneous nation. Now, those two factors combined with your population problem spells disaster. And it's really something that is really a, a serious struggle here in Japan. A lot of people have a very hard time with this. Being able to connect with their fellow human beings physically and romantically and even emotionally it continues to be a problem and continues apparently to get worse now every time I actually see these numbers come up they, they always get higher every year when these come out it's always a few percentage points more and to highlight that point currently as, currently as of now the number of single people has reached a record high in Japan a survey in 2011, in fact, found that 61% of unmarried men and 49% of women aged 18 to 34 were not in any type of romantic relationship. Now, that's a rise of almost 10% from just five years earlier. So you see, this is perpetuating itself. It's getting worse. It's not getting better here. Now, another study found that a third of people under 30 in Japan had never even dated at all. These numbers are staggering and would be ridiculous if they weren't so, so incredibly true. Now, if you think that just being single, you know, would not really create a huge problem, well... We have other numbers here. Okay? Let me take a look at this. Now, it was up in the high 40 percentile of women between the age of 16 and 24 have zero interest in sex. And when sex is brought up, they're despised by sexual contact. Now, what is causing that? What is causing women in Japan? To completely abandon their own sexuality. To completely give up any notions of romant, romantic, romantic connection with another human being. What's causing that? Well, there are several cultural factors going on here in Japan is leading to this. Number one is a two-pronged type of problem, this first one here, right? Um, over the past 15, 20 years... Uh, women have taken a much more prominent role in the workplace. You have a lot more um, female managers, a lot more women in, in positions of power, and a lot more women in more skilled positions, and more, uh, say, uh, specified positions. So that changes the, the, the dynamic of people's relationship between their work and their life. So that changed, right? But... The social construct overall in Japan has not only not changed, but shown a extreme stubbornness and refusal to adjust. So you have the bourgeois system, the capitalist system, which is putting Japanese people into a box. Regardless of what happens in culturally or within society, they're trapped in this inflexible what system of control. So the women get more empowered because of social and cultural changes. 
and I go to work, the social alienation is still there because the bourgeois system refuses to adjust because they're only interested in capital and profit. They're not interested in the lives of people. So you see this, how women have to choose in Japan to have a career or to have children. And that's sad because before a woman is a woman, she's a human being. And human beings have universal rights. You do have a right to have a career and have a child if you choose so. You do have a child, have a right, even as a man, to choose to stay home and raise that child if you want to. And those are deep desires coming out of Japanese people, especially younger Japanese people. And I've lived in Japan a long time. And I know a lot of younger Japanese, you know, people in their early 20s. Considering my, you know, my, my worldview and those things, and naturally I attract a younger crowd. And they tell me all the things they want for their lifestyles and their lives, but they can't have it. Because the system in Japan, the social construct, does not allow them to. It demands profit. It demands blood. But it does not allow them to connect with each other in a healthy human social manner. And you see the results of it here. We have a really horrible population problem. More and more Japanese people are simply saying, I'm not going to reproduce. In fact, I'm not even going to bother with sex or even a relationship. Disasters. This is a disastrous future if this continues. You know, but the only way that the uh, people here in Japan will be able to connect physically and emotionally with other people in a properly, proper, healthy social manner is if the social construct changes to reflect the changes in society and it changes culturally overall. So this contradiction, you're seeing signs of it here. It's coming out. And this will keep happening until that contradiction is resolved. And do I see hope for that contradiction to be resolved anytime soon? Sadly, I don't. Because in Japan, the breaking point of contradiction can be a really extreme point to find sometimes. Due to certain aspects of the society here. The breaking point, it takes a lot to find it and break the contradictions and have a sudden change. So, will the situation get better? Who knows? It all depends on when people in Japan have had enough.